The Undertaker is one of only two wrestlers to ever get a lifetime deal from WWE, so it's not a surprise that the dead man is a multi-millionaire. However, The Undertaker isn't the only WWE superstar in the Millionaires Club. Roman Reigns, Triple H, Randy Orton, and the Heartbreak Kid are all millionaires thanks to the industry. It's no news that professional wrestling is a lucrative career, but did you know that some in the industry are worth more than a billion dollars? Let's find out who as we explore the careers of the richest wrestlers in the world. Seth Rollins, $9 million. Born in the small town of Buffalo, Iowa, Seth Rollins has risen from humble beginnings to become one of the most recognizable faces in professional wrestling. With a net worth of $9 million, his journey is nothing short of amazing. Rollins made his wrestling debut in 2005 for Scott County Wrestling, a small promotion that gave him his first taste of the squared circle. From the very beginning, it was clear that Rollins had a unique blend of athleticism and charisma that set him apart from his peers. The turning point in Rollins' career came in 2012 when he made his debut in WWE as part of the faction known as The Shield. Alongside Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose, Rollins took the wrestling world by storm. The Shield was known for their tactical assaults and their ability to dominate their opponents with a combination of brute force and cunning strategy. However, Rollins betrayed his Shield brothers and aligned himself with The Authority, a powerful faction led by Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. This betrayal marked the beginning of Rollins' ascent to the top of the WWE hierarchy. As a member of The Authority, Rollins adopted a more ruthless and cunning persona earning him the nickname The Architect. His in-ring prowess and ability to outsmart his opponents led to multiple championship victories, including the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. David Otunga, $10 million. David Otunga's journey is a fascinating blend of academia, entertainment, and wrestling, making him one of the most intriguing figures in the industry. No wonder he is worth over $10 million. David Otunga was born on April 7, 1980, in Elgin, Illinois. He excelled academically, eventually earning a degree in psychology from the University of Illinois. He went on to attend the prestigious Harvard Law School, graduating in 2006. After earning his law degree, Otunga worked as a lawyer at the Sidley Austin Law Firm, one of the largest and most prestigious law firms in the world. However, the world of corporate law couldn't contain Otunga's ambitions. Otunga made his WWE debut in 2009 as part of the first season of NXT, a reality-based competition that aimed to find the next WWE superstar. Otunga's charisma and unique background caught the attention of fans and WWE executives alike. In 2010, Otunga became a member of the infamous faction known as the Nexus. This group of rebellious rookies wreaked havoc on the WWE roster, and Otunga's role as the faction's legal legal advisor and enforcer made him a key player. Otunga's wrestling career saw him capture the WWE Tag Team Championship twice, once with John Cena and once with Michael McGillicuddy. In addition to his wrestling career, Otunga pursued acting and appeared in several films and television shows, including The Call. Randy Orton, $11 million. With a net worth of $11 million, Randy Orton's career is a reflection of his incredible talent and dedication to the sport. Randy Orton was born on April 1, 1980 in Knoxville, Tennessee, into a family deeply rooted in professional wrestling. His grandfather, Bob Orton Sr., his father, Cowboy Bob Orton, and his uncle, Barry Orton, all had successful wrestling careers. Orton made his WWE debut in 2002, and it didn't take long for him to make an impact. His natural athleticism, combined with his family's wrestling pedigree, made him a standout performer from the start. Orton quickly earned the nickname The Legend Killer for his habit of targeting and defeating some of the biggest names in wrestling history. This persona helped him gain notoriety and solidify his place as a top-tier talent. One of the most significant milestones in Orton's career came in 2004 when he became the youngest ever world heavyweight champion at the age of 24. This historic victory pushed him into the spotlight and marked the beginning of a career filled with championship gold. Over the years, Orton has held numerous titles, including the WWE Championship and the Intercontinental Championship. Roman Reigns, $12 million. Our next superstar is the powerhouse Roman Reigns, whose real name is Liotti Joseph Joe Anoa'i. With a net worth of $12 million, Reigns has become one of the most dominant and influential figures in professional wrestling today. Born on May 25, 1985, in Pensacola, Florida, Reigns comes from the illustrious Anoa'i wrestling family, which includes legends like The Rock, Yokozuna, and Rikishi. Before stepping into the wrestling ring, Reigns pursued a career in football. He played college football for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, and later 
had brief stints in the NFL with the Minnesota Vikings and the Jacksonville Jaguars. He also played in the CFL for the Edmonton Eskimos. However, his football career was cut short, leading him to follow in his family's footsteps and enter the world of professional wrestling. Reigns made his WWE debut in 2012 as part of the faction known as The Shield, alongside Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. The Shield quickly became one of the most dominant and popular factions in WWE history. The Shield left a trail of destruction in their wake. After The Shield disbanded in 2014, Reigns embarked on a singles career that saw him rise to the top of the WWE hierarchy. Dave Bautista 13 million dollars. Next on our list is the larger-than-life Dave Bautista, better known to wrestling fans as Batista. With a net worth of 13 million dollars, Bautista has made a significant impact both inside the wrestling ring and on the silver screen. Dave Bautista was born on January 18, 1969 in Washington, D.C. Bautista made his WWE debut in 2002 under the ring name Deacon Bautista, serving as a bodyguard for Reverend Devon. However, it wasn't long before he shed this persona and rebranded himself as Bautista a powerhouse wrestler with an intimidating presence. His alliance with Triple H, Ric Flair, and Randy Orton as part of the faction Evolution paved the path to stardom. Evolution dominated WWE, and Batista's role as the muscle of the group made him a fan favorite. Batista is a six-time world champion and a four-time world heavyweight champion. One of his most significant achievements came at WrestleMania 21, when he defeated Triple H to win the world heavyweight championship. Batista's in-ring style is characterized by his sheer power and brute strength. His signature moves including the Batista bomb and the spine buster, are devastating. Bill Goldberg, $14 million. Who can ever forget the iconic Bill Goldberg, known for his dominance and intensity in the industry? With a net worth of $14 million, Goldberg's career has been a huge success. Bill Goldberg was born on December 27, 1966, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Before making his mark in professional wrestling, Goldberg pursued a career in American football. He played college football for the University of Georgia Bulldogs and later had stints in the NFL with the Los Angeles Rams, Atlanta Falcons, and the Carolina Panthers. Goldberg made his wrestling debut in 1997 with World Championship Wrestling, WCW. His combination of power, speed, and intensity made him an instant fan favorite. Goldberg's matches were characterized by their brevity and brutality, often ending in a matter of minutes with his signature moves, the spear and the jackhammer. One of the most remarkable aspects of Goldberg's career was his unprecedented undefeated streak. In 2003, Goldberg made his debut in WWE, where he continued to showcase his explosive style and dominance. His time in WWE saw him capture the World Heavyweight Championship and engage in memorable feuds with stars like The Rock, Triple H, and Brock Lesnar. Jeff Jarrett, $15 million. Our next entry is the versatile and influential Jeff Jarrett, whose net worth stands at an impressive $15 million. Jeff Jarrett was born on July 14, 1967 in Hendersonville, Tennessee, into a family deeply rooted in the wrestling business. His father, Jerry Jarrett, was a prominent wrestling promoter, and his grandmother, Christine Jarrett, was also involved in the industry. Jarrett made his wrestling debut in 1986 in his father's promotion, Continental Wrestling Association, CWA. From the outset, Jarrett showcased a natural talent for the sport, combining technical prowess with a charismatic persona. His early years were spent honing his craft in various regional promotions, where he quickly gained a reputation as a skilled and reliable performer. In 1993, Jarrett made his debut in the World Wrestling Federation WWF, where he adopted the persona of a country music singer. His character, complete with flashy outfits and a guitar, quickly made him a memorable and entertaining figure. Jarrett's in-ring abilities and his knack for playing both a hero and a villain made him a versatile performer. During his time in WWF, he captured the Intercontinental Championship multiple times, solidifying his status as a top-tier talent. Jarrett's career took another significant turn in 1996 when he joined World Championship Wrestling, WCW. Shawn Michaels, $17 million. Shawn Michaels, whose net worth stands at an astounding $17 million, is known as Mr. WrestleMania and the Heartbreak Kid. Shawn Michaels was born on July 22, 1965 in Chandler, Arizona. From a young age, Michaels showed a passion for wrestling, and he began training at the age of 19. Michaels made his WWE debut in 1988 as part of the tag team The Rockers, alongside Marty Jannetty. The Rockers were known for their high-energy matches and innovative double-team maneuvers, making them a fan favorite. However, it was when Michaels 
Michaels embarked on a singles career in the early 1990s that he truly began to shine. Michaels' rivalry with Bret the Hitman Hart culminated in the iconic Iron Man match at WrestleMania 12, where Michaels captured his first WWE World Championship. Michaels is, is a four-time WWE World Champion, a three-time WWF Champion, and a one-time WWE Heavyweight Champion. His ability to deliver in high-pressure situations earned him the nickname Mr. WrestleMania, as he consistently put on some of the greatest matches in the event's history. From his latter match against Razor Ramon at WrestleMania 10 to his emotional retirement match against The Undertaker at WrestleMania 26, Michael's WrestleMania performances are the stuff of legend. The Undertaker, $17 million. Up next is the legendary Undertaker, whose real name is Mark William Calloway. With a net worth of $17 million, he is one of the richest wrestlers in the world. Mark Calloway was born on March 24, 1965 in Houston, Texas. He began his wrestling career in 1984, working for various regional promotions under different ring names. However, it was in 1990 when he joined WWE that he truly found his calling as The Undertaker. The Undertaker made his WWE debut at the 1990 Survivor Series, instantly capturing the imagination of fans with his eerie presence, supernatural persona, and unmatched in-ring abilities. His character, a seemingly immortal dead man with a penchant for mind games and psychological warfare, set him apart from his colleagues. One of The Undertaker's most remarkable achievements is his undefeated streak at WrestleMania, WWE's biggest annual event. From his debut at WrestleMania 7 in 1991, The Undertaker amassed an unprecedented 21 consecutive victories at the event. The streak was finally broken at WrestleMania 30 in 2014 when he was defeated by Brock Lesnar, a moment that shocked the wrestling world. Mick Foley, $18 million. Mick Foley, whose net worth stands at an impressive $18 million, is another noteworthy legend in the industry. Mick Foley was born on June 7, 1965, in Bloomington, Indiana. From a young age, Foley was a passionate wrestling fan, and he pursued his dream of becoming a professional wrestler. He began his wrestling career in the mid-1980s under the ring name Cactus Jack. Foley's career took a significant turn when he joined World Championship Wrestling, WCW, in 1991. As Cactus Jack, Foley engaged in some of of the most brutal and memorable matches in WCW history. Foley's willingness to put his body on the line earned him a reputation as one of the toughest competitors in the business. In 1996, Foley made his debut in WWE, where he would go on to achieve legendary status. Foley introduced the character Mankind, a deranged and tormented soul who wore a leather mask and engaged in some of the most violent matches in WWE history. Mankind's rivalry with The Undertaker produced some of the most iconic moments in wrestling, including their infamous hell in a cell match at King of the Ring 1998. In that match, Foley was thrown off the top of the cell and later chokeslammed through the roof. Big Show, $20 million. Standing at an imposing 7 feet tall and weighing in at a staggering 441 pounds, Big Show, real name Paul White, is one of the largest and most intimidating wrestlers in WWE history. His large size and presence in the ring have made him a force to be reckoned with, and his career achievements are nothing short of extraordinary, earning him a net worth of $20 million. Big Show's journey to becoming one of the wealthiest wrestlers in WWE began in the 1990s when he made his debut in World Championship Wrestling, WCW, under the ring name the Giant. His massive frame and incredible agility quickly caught the attention of wrestling fans and promoters alike. In 1996, Big Show won his first major title, the WCW World Heavyweight Championship, by defeating Ric Flair. After his successful stint in WCW, Big Show made his way to WWE in 1999. Over the years, Big Show's dominance in the ring continued to grow, and he became the only male wrestler to have won the WCW World Heavyweight Championship, WWE Championship, WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and ECW World Heavyweight Championship. Whether playing the role of a menacing villain or a lovable giant, Big Show has consistently delivered memorable performances that have captivated audiences worldwide. Kurt Angle, $25 million. Next on our list is the phenomenal Kurt Angle, known for his wrestling excellence and career success. With a net worth of $25 million, Angle's career is a reflection of his unparalleled talent, dedication, and resilience. 
Kurt Angle's story begins long before he stepped into the WWE ring. Born in 1968 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Angle's athletic abilities were evident from a young age. In 1996, Angle achieved the pinnacle of amateur wrestling success by winning a gold medal in freestyle wrestling at the Atlanta Olympics. What makes this achievement even more remarkable is that he won the gold medal with a broken neck. Following his Olympic triumph, Kurt Angle transitioned to professional wrestling, signing with WWE in 1998. His debut was high highly anticipated, and he did not disappoint. Angle quickly established himself as a top-tier talent, known for his technical wrestling skills and charismatic personality. One of Kurt Angle's most memorable runs in WWE was as a heel character, where he portrayed an arrogant and self-righteous Olympic hero. This persona resonated with fans and generated significant heat, making Angle one of the most compelling villains in WWE history. Over the years, his matches earned him numerous championships, including the WWE Championship, World Heavyweight Championship, and Intercontinental Championship. Hulk Hogan, $25 million. Our countdown continues with one of the most iconic figures in the history of professional wrestling, Hulk Hogan. Born Terry Jean Balea, Hulk Hogan's name is a wrestling legend. With a net worth of $25 million, Hogan's career has spanned decades, leaving an unforgettable mark on the industry and pop culture. Hulk Hogan's rise to fame began in the 1980s, during the golden era of professional wrestling. His captivating persona, complete with his signature bandana, handlebar mustache, and catchphrase, What you gonna do, brother? made him an instant fan favorite. Hogan's charisma and undeniable presence in the ring set the stage for superstardom, and he quickly became the face of WWE, then known as the World Wrestling Federation, WWF. Hogan's impact on the wrestling world was monumental. He headlined the first ever WrestleMania in 1985, a groundbreaking event that set the stage for WWE's future success. His match against Rowdy Roddy Piper and Mr. Wonderful, Paul Orndorff, where he teamed up with Mr. T, was a spectacle that captivated audiences worldwide. He won multiple WWE championships and engaged in legendary feuds with some of the biggest names in wrestling, including Andre the Giant, Randy Savage, and The Ultimate Warrior. Outside the wrestling ring, Hulk Hogan has also made a significant impact in Hollywood. Brock Lesnar, $28 million. With a net worth of $28 million, Brock Lesnar's career is celebrated with incredible athleticism, dominance, and versatility. From his explosive debut in 2002 to his ventures into the NFL and UFC, Brock Lesnar has proven time and again that he is worth the hype and fan love. Born in 1977 in Webster, South Dakota, Lesnar showcased his wrestling prowess early on, winning the NCAA Division I Heavyweight Wrestling Championship in 2000. Brock Lesnar made his WWE debut in 2002, and it was Simply amazing. Dubbed the next big thing, Lesnar quickly didn't disappoint with his performance. His rise saw him capture the WWE Championship just five months after his debut, making him the youngest WWE Champion in history at the age of 25. This incredible achievement set the stage for a career filled with dominance and unparalleled success. One of the most remarkable aspects of Brock Lesnar's career is his ability to excel in multiple sports. In 2004, Lesnar made a surprising move to the NFL, signing with the Minnesota Vikings. In 2008, Brock Lesnar made his debut in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC. Lesnar's success in UFC not only added to his fame, but also significantly boosted his net worth. After his stint in UFC, Brock Lesnar made a triumphant return to WWE in 2012. Steve Austin $30 million. Now, unto the legendary Stone Cold Steve Austin, whose real name is Stephen James Anderson. With a net worth of $30 million, Steve Austin's was known for his in-ring, strength, and ability to captivate audiences. Known for his anti-hero gimmick and rebellious persona, Austin is widely regarded as the poster boy of WWE's Attitude Era, a period that revolutionized professional wrestling. Steve Austin's journey began in the early 1990s when he started his career in World Championship Wrestling, WCW, under the ring name Stunt. Steve Austin. Despite his undeniable talent, Austin struggled to find his footing in WCW and was eventually released from his contract in 1995. In 1996, Austin signed with WWE, and it was here that he truly found his calling. Adopting the Stone Cold persona, Austin's character was a beer-drinking, foul-mouthed anti-hero who defied authority and did things his way. Throughout the Attitude Era, Steve Austin's feuds with WWE Chairman Vince McMahon became the stuff of legend. Their on-screen rivalry characterized by Austin's relentless defiance of McMahon's authority, captivated audiences, and drove WWE's ratings to new heights. Like many other wrestlers, he also explored acting, appearing in films such as The Longest Yard, The Condemned, and Grown Ups 2. John Cena, $60 million. 
Everyone knows the talented John Cena and his success in and out of the ring. With a net worth of $60 million, Cena's career reflects his versatility, charisma, and relentless work ethic. As a 16-time WWE World Champion and a Hollywood star, Cena has become a global icon, captivating audiences with his amazing persona and incredible achievements. John Cena's rise to stardom began in 2002 when he made his WWE debut. Initially portraying a brash, trash-talking rapper, Cena quickly gained attention with his freestyle rap and fearless attitude. His early feuds with stars like Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar showcased his in-ring prowess and set the stage for his meteoric rise. As Cena's career progressed, he transitioned from his rapper persona to a Superman-like character, embodying the ideals of hard work, perseverance, and never giving up. Cena's matches against iconic opponents such as The Rock, Randy Orton, and Edge are etched in wrestling history as some of the most memorable bouts ever. Cena's ability to deliver high-quality performances and connect with audiences has solidified solidified his status as one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. When he started exploring acting, he showed his fans that his talents aren't limited to wrestling. Hits like 12 rounds, playing with fire, blockers, and the fast saga endeared him to fans and added to his fortune. Triple H, $150 million. Our countdown continues with the cerebral assassin, Triple H, whose real name is Paul Levesque. With a combined net worth of $150 million alongside his wife, Stephanie McMahon, Triple H's career has been a remarkable success. As a 14-time WWE World Champion and the Executive Vice President of Talent for WWE, Triple H has left an unforgettable mark on the wrestling industry. Triple H's wrestling career began in the early 1990s when he made his debut in World Championship Wrestling, WCW, under the ring name Terra Rising. However, it was his move to WWE in 1995 that truly set the stage for his legendary career. Throughout his career, Triple H has been involved in some of the most memorable storylines and feuds in WWE history. His alliance with Shawn Michaels to form D-Generation X, DX, in the late 1990s was a game changer, bringing a new level of edginess and rebellion to WWE's programming. Beyond his in-ring success, Triple H has also made a significant impact behind the scenes. As the executive vice president of talent, live events, and creative for WWE, Triple H plays a crucial role in shaping the future of the company. He is married to Stephanie McMahon, the daughter of WWE's owners Vince and Linda McMahon. Their partnership has not only strengthened WWE's corporate structure, but also made them one of the most powerful couples in the wrestling industry. Stephanie McMahon, $150 million. Now let's talk about the formidable Stephanie McMahon, a name that commands respect both inside and outside the wrestling ring. As the daughter of Vince and Linda McMahon, Stephanie has become a powerful force in her own right. With a combined net worth of $150 million alongside her husband, Triple H, Stephanie McMahon's career reflects her business acumen, leadership, and dedication to WWE. Stephanie McMahon's journey in WWE began at a young age. Her early appearances on WWE programming as a teenager gave fans a glimpse of the future leader she would become. However, it was her transition into a full-time role within the company that truly showcased her talents and potential. From her early days as the innocent daughter of Vince McMahon to her transformation into the ruthless and cunning billion-dollar princess, Stephanie has played a variety of roles that have captivated audiences. Beyond her on-screen persona, Stephanie McMahon has made a significant impact behind the scenes. Currently serving as the Chief Brand Officer CBO, of WWE, Stephanie is responsible for overseeing the company's brand and marketing strategy strategies. Her vision and leadership have been instrumental in expanding WE's global reach and enhancing its brand image. Under her guidance, WWE has successfully launched initiatives such as the WWE Network, the Women's Evolution, and various community outreach programs. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, $320 million. The Rock has established a name for himself both in and out of the wrestling ring. With a staggering net worth of $320 million, The Rock's career reflects his talent, charisma, and relentless work ethic. As a former nine-time WWE World Heavyweight Champion and a Hollywood megastar, Johnson has captivated audiences worldwide and built an empire that extends far beyond the industry. Dwayne Johnson's journey into the industry started in the late 1990s when he made his WWE debut as Rocky Mavia, a tribute to his father and grandfather father, both of whom were professional wrestlers. Despite a rocky start, Johnson's undeniable charisma and athleticism quickly won over fans. Embracing his new persona as The Rock, he became one of the most electrifying and beloved figures in WWE history. In the early 2000s, Dwayne Johnson made a seamless transition from wrestling to acting, quickly establishing himself as a Hollywood powerhouse. His breakout role in The Scorpion King showcased his acting chops and set the stage for an incredible film career. Johnson's versatility as an actor has allowed him to excel 
excel in a wide range of genres, from action-packed blockbusters to family-friendly comedies. One of The Rock's most notable roles is his portrayal of Luke Hobbs in the Fast and Furious franchise. Vince McMahon, $1.6 billion. The richest person on our list is the driving force behind WWE's global success, Vince McMahon. With an astounding net worth of $1.6 billion, Vince McMahon has proven himself a visionary with business acumen and relentless pursuit of excellence. As the CEO of WWE and a former wrestler, McMahon has transformed the wrestling industry and built an entertainment empire that spans the globe. It all started in the 1970s when he took over his father's wrestling promotion, then known as the Worldwide Wrestling Federation, WWWF renaming it to the World Wrestling Federation, WWF, and later to World Wrestling Entertainment, WWE. McMahon's vision was to take professional wrestling from regional territories to a national and eventually global stage. His innovative approach and willingness to take risks revolutionized the industry and set WWE on a path to unprecedented success. One of McMahon's most significant contributions to the industry was the creation of WrestleMania in 1985. This groundbreaking event, often referred to as the Super Bowl of Wrestling, brought together wrestling's big stars and celebrities from various fields, creating a spectacle that captivated audiences worldwide. His keen understanding of storytelling and entertainment has allowed WWE to create compelling characters and storylines that resonate with fans of all ages. His on-screen character, often portrayed as a ruthless and tyrannical boss, has been involved in some of the most memorable feuds and storylines in WWE history. Thanks for watching. Check out other interesting videos by clicking on the cards on your screen.